girls, what's up? It's Rika here and welcome to Beauty Insider's Halloween special segment. This time I have a thriller story that I wanted to share with you guys. In the spirit of Halloween, I do want to make another makeup look based on the movie Corpse Bride. This movie was famously directed by the ever so talented Tim Burton and I will be recreating one of the characters look called Emily. So let's get started with the base. Like I mentioned in all of my makeup videos, always remember to put primer and here I'll be using the Vanilla Co. Sebum Fix Prime Primer Hydrating. I was walking down the road after a night out with my friends in the UK, um, in Wales specifically, and we were walking down the street. We were walking in a group of like 8 or 10 heading back to uh, our campus. The rest of my friends were already walking far ahead while I was at the back of the group. We passed by this really huge chapel by the side and one of my friends suggested that we should enter and see what's on its grounds. I will be applying Anastasia's Beverly Hills at the shade of 2 Magic Touch Concealer and I'll be applying onto uh, high areas and the thing I love about this product is the fact that it is uh, very pigmented and you can hide every imperfection there is on my face. So there was four of us and two of my friends, they were very excited to see what's on the grounds while me and my other friend, we were both extremely terrified so we just stood outside of the um, stone wall just waiting for them to come. I didn't want to go in because of how scary it looks. Can you imagine? No street light just the moonlight shining upon the cha the chapel but i was worried of my friend's well-being so um i walked alone into the courtyard uh, to find my friends i managed to see them flashing their flashlights on the walls of the chapel but by the time i reached their side i realized we were surrounded by uh, graveyards at this time i was pulling my friend's coat begging for them to come back because I didn't want to stay here any longer. It's 2 a.m. in the morning and while I was pulling their coats, I was trying to regain some sort of like confidence to look around and identify the situation I was gonna be, I I'm already in. So, and I realized I was surrounded by gravestones that are dated back in the 1800s. I was extremely uncomfortable by this point. Next, we're gonna cover our skin with all blue because Emily's skin tone was literally blue. So here I'll be using the Eye Magic Professional Cosmetics with 12 color face paint and body paint. So I'll be using the bright blue, but instead of using a brush, I'm gonna be using my hand so that I have full control of the texture and consistency of the color. After like five minutes of convincing them that it's best that we go back, eventually they agreed with me and we headed back to our dormitories or aka our campus. This was a 10 minute walk by the way. Both me and my other friend who was scared to enter the chapel, we were both, we were the last one to be walking in this small group that we have right now. Oh shoot, I forgot my eyebrows. Let me just cover that up real quick. Oh wait. So I'll be using the same face palette, but this time I'll be using brown and the black together to imitate the eyebrows. So we were so close to our campus, like, I just had to make a turn and then I'll be safe and sound but all of a sudden we walked past this uh, girl who was crying in the streets. My friend and I, we were both too terrified to, to do anything about it so we avoided eye contact at all costs. So here I'll be using Sephora's pocket palette at the shade of blue tones. I'm gonna use a lighter shade of blue which is um, at the shade of number 2 and just apply it all over my eyelids. By this time, the rest of my friends were already like safely in their rooms and it was just me and my other friend who had to deal with this crying girl. Initially, we wanted to just ignore her because I mean, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Who has their face covered with their hair? Like in the middle of the road. So of course, we were terrified to talk to this person because like we don't want to get shanked. My friend and I, we were pulling each other's coats just like trying to signal each other whether like we should engage or not because this girl this girl was profusely crying until she approached us and tried to talk to us by the looks of this girl she was very disheveled like she didn't know where she was i'm gonna use eyeshadow number six to add more of the blue to make it more prominent so yeah 
we tried to make a conversation with this girl but she was very unresponsive so i'm gonna apply shade number five um at the outer corner of my eye to give it more dimension and because emily has such big eyes i'm just gonna like outline my waterline over here with white paint add more eyeshadow right underneath the white paint i'm not gonna be using fake eyelashes so i'm just gonna like draw an eyeliner over here and just draw fake eyelashes right underneath and i might just like make it more um dramatic so that it imitates Emily's really huge eyes. Curl your eyelashes. Next, I'll be coating my lashes with U Beauty's Ultra Curl Waterproof Mascara. I'm just gonna contour my face to make it look more chiseled. I'll be using Sephora's Pocket Palette again. I'm gonna be using my eyeshadow brush first um, and then blend it out with a blusher. I was worried that we might get hurt so I took her phone first so I asked her like could I get your phone so that I can call somebody for you and she gave me her phone and I felt a little bit better because like at least that was some sort of like safety precaution over there um, so yeah like we tried to ask more questions about where she came from but she kept saying she came back from a party or something and like it was already so cold at that time so we thought like hey you know what let's bring her back to the kitchen so and that's what I did I brought this stranger of girl who's crying by the side of the road in front of my dorm into my kitchen so that we can sort things out and when she was already in the kitchen she kept rubbing her temple she was like very um, you know confused as to where she is she doesn't know what to do she cried a lot that night and like she didn't know where she was and she just wanted to go home but she doesn't know how to because her phone's dead so hence, that's why um, we brought her into our, my kitchen and you know, we just sort things out and I helped her charge her phone. Again, with the lip pencil that I don't know the name of, I'm gonna overline my lips. I'll be using Sorfina Hall's Lip Cream Matte Color. I managed to call a person in her contacts and that person came by to my campus to pick her up. And it seems like he was a very nice person because he kept saying thanks to me. Yeah, till today, I don't know why she was in the middle of the road like that. No idea. And the weirdest thing is, we both shared our um, Snapchat username so that I know that she's home safely and so that she can keep in touch with me, I guess. Um, but we never talked after that. Like, no interaction whatsoever since that night last year. So, I guess everything went well in the end. I'm gonna make it look darker with the lip pencil that I have here. I'm just gonna add some white paint over here to imitate my teeth, my um, exposed teeth. So that is the final look. I attached my mom's shawl just above my head just so that it looks like a veil, like as if I'm about to get married and then get murdered by my fiance and only for me to get revenge at the end of this story. Um, so yeah, this is Emily from Corpse Bride. I hope you guys like this video and if you do, do give a thumbs up and if you do enjoy watching the rest of our videos, do subscribe. If you recreate any of our looks this year, remember to tag us at Instagram at beautyinsider.ny and beautyinsidersg. I would love to see all of your looks and I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween ahead and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!